And Carolina, we're starting to see all those heavy rains that bring the storm season, of course, and the city of St. Petersburg is testing out new technology to make sure that sewage isn't spilling into the bay. We all remember 2016, right? And the effects of Hurricane Hermine. Well, the city does not want a repeat of that disaster. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow shows you that robots could soon be invading a sewer near you. Sewers carry all sorts of nasty things and they can cause big problems when they aren't in good shape. If you don't know what's going on underground, you will the first uh, rainstorm you have. St. Pete learned that lesson the hard way in 2016. That's when millions of gallons of sewage spewed into our local bays, all because the systems were overloaded and under-resourced. It's very difficult. We have a, a very old infrastructure and it, it's hard to stay on top of. Right now, the city brings these large trucks to your neighborhood and drops a camera down into the sewer. Crews then watch the video, checking for cracks and leaks in the pipes. But with hundreds of miles of pipe to check, and rainy season well underway. The city's looking at contracting robots to help. And when it comes to looking down into the sewer, the city says the robots are gonna be a lot more effective than these trucks. They put a crossbar in the manhole and they set it and it goes from one manhole to the other. It doesn't need an operator. Uh, they get roughly 7,500 to possibly 10,000 feet a day if, if all goes well. That's compared to 2,000 feet a day with the trucks. And officials say efficiency is key in checking pipes that might need repairs. We have a lot of pipe in the ground. And to put eyes on it and really see what's happening is crucial for us to be able to maintain the system in the long run for our residents and to prevent these sanitary sewer overflows. City Council could approve a $600,000 contract for the robots in August. And the fact that they don't have to be manually operated, that's pretty cool. Now, if the city council does approve that contract, those robots could be roving your sewers by October.